to the hardwood. A slew of teams fighting off the dense fog tonight, including Westwood and West Sioux, as the pair go to battle for a War Eagle vs. Western Valley showdown. Rebels looking for its first series win in over a decade, while the Falcons looking to get win number one this season. And as a young Falcon group with zero seniors, Rebels running wild to start. First quarter, Tyler Johnson ready and waiting on the wing. He's going to can the three ball, but he was far from done. Moments later, back to the same spot, same result. Johnson would bury three triples in a row for a 9-3 Westwood lead. Rest of the Rebels join in the party. Brody Mukenrath from the same corner, and he converts from deep. Talk about a hot spot. 14-4 Rebel Edge. Falcons finding a quick response. Jaden Cotts pulling up for the mid-range J and one in front of Santa, no less. He was working the PA tonight. Westwood going back to work from deep, though. Josiah McFarlane, he's going to make it a three-point party from that corner. Rebels led 22-13 after one. They fly past the Falcons, 78-46, the final. Over to Ottawa, Storm Lake St. Mary's visiting West Monona. Spartans up huge, 59-16 at the half, adding to it in the third. Peyton Perget to chase Lander for the easy lay-in, 76-20 home team. More buckets left in the tank, back to Perget and back to Lander from the left corner. Scorches the net for three. Spartans up by 66 into the fourth. Panthers breaking the drought later in the quarter. Griffin Strom rattling home the three for Storm Lake St. Mary's, but the Spartans just never stopped scoring up 90 to 23. Tyson Melton gets them to 100. West Monona dominates to crack the century mark over the Panthers 100 to 23.